a lot of y'all y'all gonna see this and a lot of y'all y'all was y'all was blogging about this and y'all was talking about this would nobody mention Terrence Crawford's name until they start losing that's when PBC and I and them and and whoever they handle it oh well now y'all can go over there but when people was champion you would never you ain't never never heard them say oh let's unify with Terrence Crawford or let's fight Terrence Crawford it was Terrence Crawford got to get a belt or what Terrence Crawford done in in the welterweight division or or it was always something or he's on the side of, other side of the street or Bob Arum it was always something but now like I said before I already fought two PBC guys and yeah, I think Amir Khan was managed by Al, Al Heyman or something of that nature. I don't want to say something that I don't know, but I think. But yeah, so if that what if that's true, that's three fighters, right? But the top guys when they was champions, when they had something to lose, it was no, don't, don't say his name, no nothing. But now, you see things is changing. You see things is changing now. You know, you see Sean Porter say, oh, man, me, me and Bud can fight. Now you see Keith Thurman, oh, send a contract. Now you see who, who else? You see, you starting to see a lot of a lot of young fighters coming up, but that's what they supposed to do. You know what I mean? They, they looking at the top uh, guys in their division to get a title shot, and that's what we do it for. You know, you gotta call out the uh, top guys when you when you coming up. That's how you get your name out there, and that's how you get your opportunity. So I don't knock none of them, but let's be real, man. Spence only really fought one guy, Kel, Kel Brook, and Kel Brook only fought one guy. You know what I mean? And that was Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. Only fought two guys. Well, really one. If you, I don't know, man. I'm different. I just look at, you know, what I mean, like, what have you done, or what have they done? That's so different than me. And they've been in this division longer than me. They fought each other. Okay, so they fought since they fought each other. That makes them. So, if I beat Egis. That makes him a top welterweight then. If I beat. But Jeff Horn was considered one of the biggest welterweights in the division. He never lost in the division. Tell me. Then. Um, yeah. So everybody that I fought should be in the top six, seven. I'm just throwing it out there because I guess if they fight each other, then all of them considered in the top whatever, they top welterweights because they get to fight each other. But what about the person that lose? He's still ranked high? I don't get it. Somebody got to help me get it. Because every fight that I didn't fought, Except the Khan fight. Everybody was just like, man, you're going to whitewash Khan. But every fight that I didn't fought in a welterweight division, everybody was like, man, you're going to lose. You're too small. I don't know. Some people, there's a lot of people that, you know what I mean, thought I was going to win. But how I win, that's when they say, oh, well, this guy's a bum. This guy is this. This guy is that. Terrence Crawford ain't fought nobody. Ha, I ain't fought nobody. Dang. Everybody I fight, they, they say something bad about him after I fight him. Gamboa was too small. How was Gamboa too small when he just won a title uh, it, prior to fighting me? Barry John was too small. I went up and wait and, and fought him. And he just fought Lamont Peterson that everybody praised when somebody beat Lamont Peterson. Uh, 
good fighter though. But you know, people used him as a as you know what I mean. Beat Lamont Peterson, you you the shit. But I don't I don't worry about it. I just laugh because I just be having to remind y'all what y'all be saying that don't make sense to me. Like Victor Postal, how y'all talk way down on Victor Postal, like a lot of y'all writers. But prior to that, 